Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, September 4th, 2010. This week, shape up number 8, creating a line of circles or other shapes in Photoshop and Elements. This week's tip is the 8th in a series of video tips on using shapes to add interest to your digital projects. We've explored a number of shapes from hand-drawn squares and offset circles to waves and cutout type. This week's tip rounds out the series with instructions for creating a line of circles or other shapes from brushes. Get started by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. Click on the Create a New Layer icon in the Layers panel to create a new transparent layer above the background. Next, set the foreground color to a color that contrasts with your background. The color that you choose will be the color of your brushwork. I'm going to choose a nice blue because that will contrast with our white background and click OK. Then get the brush tool and move your cursor to the options bar across the top of the screen. I'll show you the Photoshop interface first and then I'll switch to the Elements interface so that you can see the differences. In the full version of Photoshop, choose a large round brush with hard edges. I'm going to move the hardness slider all the way to the right. For the sample, I'm going to use a diameter of 300 pixels. I'm going to type it in here in the master diameter. Set the mode, opacity, and flow to 100%. Next, open the brush options. In Photoshop, the brush options can be activated by pressing F5 on your keyboard or choosing Window, Brushes, or you can also activate it by clicking this icon in the options bar. Choose the Brush Tip Shape tab, and then set the spacing here to about 90%. Then shift, click, and drag out a line of circles across your page, and you'll notice that with the spacing set to 90%, the circles will overlap slightly. Now I'll show you the same technique in Photoshop Elements. In Photoshop Elements, you'll click the Create a New Shape Layer icon in the Layers panel here to create a new transparent layer above the background, and then set your foreground color to a color that contrasts with your background and click OK. Get the brush tool and move your cursor to the options bar here across the top of the page. Choose a large round brush with hard edges. For the sample, I'm going to change the size to 300 pixels here, set the mode to normal and opacity to 100%, and then in Elements, the Brush Options icon looks like a paintbrush here at the end of the row of icons in the Options bar. Click on that and come down here to Spacing. It defaults to 25% and you'll need to change that to 90%. When you've done that, shift, click, and drag out a line of circles across your page. And you'll notice that they're overlapping. If you set the circles to 100%, the circles will just barely touch. Numbers below 100 cause the circles to overlap, and the lower the number, the more the circles overlap. Numbers above 100 will create a space between the circles. The higher the number, the more space will separate them. To use the line of circles on your digital project, get the Move tool at the top of the tool bin, and then drag the brush layer onto your page. You can use the circles as a clipping mask to glue papers to the circles like I did here in the sample, or you can get creative with this technique by choosing a brush other than a circle. You could create a line of stars or hearts or any other brush that you might have in your digital toolkit. Be sure to check out the selection of brushes at the Designer Digital Shop. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements video tip. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howto at designerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.